So for me, faithfulness is a very key element of Quakerism, perhaps the key element of faithfulness, of, of Quakerism. And the hard part about faithfulness is um, it actually takes courage. Uh, uh, we, we wouldn't talk about it unless it sort of took some work. And there's many, many stories in my life about sort of encountering that struggle to be faithful. Um, there was a big one pretty early in my religious life. <clears throat> I had been worshiping regularly in a meeting for maybe three or four years. And um, I had been married about a year before and I went to someone else's wedding. And it was a big wedding. The other thing you should know is that I had given spoken ministry before, but I believe I had never given ministry in song. And at this wedding, I had this little nudge to sing the song that had been sung at our wedding. And uh, I thought, ah, I just have an association between weddings and that song. Okay. And the nudge came back again. And I said, uh, I'm not going to stand up in front of all these people and sing that song. And then the nudge came back again. And uh, I said, I do not know all the words to that song. But my husband was sitting next to me and I knew he had memorized all the words to that song. So it came back again. And finally, I had to give myself a lecture. And I have since named this. It is the faithfulness lecture. And the faithfulness lecture goes something like this. Do you believe in this religion or not? If you do, it does not matter whether you will be on tune, whether you get the words right, whether people will hear you, whether they approve of this message. If you are supposed to give this message, give it. And really, I knew I was supposed to give the message. I had all those signs that came back and back and back. I was having that quaking feeling. I was supposed to give this message. So I leaned over and I got the words from my husband and I st stood up and I screwed my eyes tight and I grabbed the bench in front of me and I sang the song. And as so often happens when they're singing ministry, a few other people sang with me. So there was this wonderful sense of support. But I have had many occasions since when I have had that nudge to speak or act. And especially in meeting for worship when I'm feeling kind of resistant, but it's really clear I'm supposed to give. Sometimes I just say to myself, the faithfulness lecture. And that's all I need. And I screw up. My eyes close and I stand up and I do what I'm supposed to do. Welcome to week two of the Quaker Speak Project. We release videos every Thursday. To keep up with the project, just hit that subscribe button above. You can also watch our first video, How Quakerism Began, here. Quaker Speak is a project of Friends Journal. We work in collaboration with Friends General Conference and Quaker Voluntary Service. I'm the director of the project. My name is John Watts. Stay tuned for next week and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.